Welcome, everyone, to the Chopra Center webinar, Live Your Passion with Chopra Center University. Now is the time to turn your inspiration into your reality. I'm your host, Libby Karstensen, Vedic Master, along with Teresa Long, Director of Chopra Center University. Hello, Libby, and thank you for having me today. And Melissa Wise, Vedic Master. Hello, everyone. (laughs) Happy to have you all here and you listening wherever you might be across the globe. A lot of people coming uh, into us globally from around the world, and we're so excited to share more about Chopra Center University. So this was really designed as a way for us to share more about these amazing trainings that we have, primordial sound meditation, the seven spiritual laws of yoga, and also our perfect health or Ayurveda training. So over Over the course of the next hour, we'll explore what is Chopra Center University? What does it mean to be a Chopra Center certified teacher? And we'll start with, um, I think, the best place for us to start as we start to bring in this information is first by coming together all over the world. In fact, I'd like to know if you're if you're listening and you can put into the comment section exactly where you're listening so we can see really that global representation and a way for us all to come together at first through meditation, through oneness. And we have a very, very special teacher here to guide us in meditation, Teresa Long. Great, thank you, Libby. And as Libby mentioned, we really, our foundation at the Chopra Center is practicing and teaching meditation, really returning to that wholeness, connecting to that silence and bringing those attributes back down into your daily life. And so first, before we meditate, we'll just do a few movements. So if you're sitting in a chair or if you're standing listening to this, we'll just do just a few movements just to kind of get the body settled. So just take a nice inhale. Raise your arms up towards the ceiling or towards the sky above your head. Interlace your fingers together. Stretch out and reach out through your arms and hands. Bring your hands behind in the back of your head. and Your elbows are out to the side. Exhaling. Good. And then take a nice inhale. And gently move to the right. Just a slight twist. You can bring your elbow down by your side or just turn to the right, whatever is available to you. Exhale, come back to center. Take another inhale. Exhale over to the left. And just do that at your own pace a few more times. Inhale. This feels great, Teresa. Exhale. Yeah, nice break. So if this is midday for you, it's a nice little break, especially if you've been sitting all day. Yeah. And connecting with the breath is so, I'm already feeling more relaxed. Good. And then come back to center gently. Bring your elbows in. Bring your chin towards your chest. A little forward bend or fold. Take an inhale. Come back up to center. Reach your arms up towards the sky again. And then exhale, bring your arms down by your side. Good. You can just do a little shake, shaking your arms, shake your legs out a little bit. Good. So we'll start with our meditation. So gently close your eyes. Put your attention or your awareness in your heart center. Take a nice inhale through your nose. And then exhale out. Just taking a few deep breaths at your own pace. Allowing your shoulders to drop. Allowing your body to relax into this moment. Continuing with your breath, I'm going to bring in one of the seven spiritual laws of success by Deepak Chopra. Today we'll talk a little bit about your purpose or your dharma. Dharma means purpose in Sanskrit. And the law of dharma says that we have taken manifestation in physical form 
to fulfill a purpose. The field of pure potentiality is divinity in its essence, and the divine takes human form to fulfill a purpose. According to this law or principle, you have a unique talent and a unique way of expressing it. There are some things you can do better than anyone else in the whole world. And for every unique talent and unique expression of that talent, there's also unique needs. When these needs are matched with the creative expression of your talent, that is the spark that creates affluence in your life. Expressing your talents to fulfill a need creates unlimited wealth and abundance. You can put into practice the law of Dharma today or any day by making a list of your unique talents. What is it that you love to do the most? When you express your unique talents, you tend to lose track of time. And when we also express our unique talents, we're being in service to others and the whole human race. You can ask yourself daily, how can I serve? How can I help myself and others? And what am I grateful for? Being in gratitude each day. answers to these questions will allow you to help and serve your fellow humans beings with love so again just connecting with your breath we're just going to do a silent meditation There is a mantra that goes with the law of Dharma. It's a Sanskrit mantra. Om Varyunam Nama. Its essence is my life is in harmony with cosmic law. Om Varyunam Nama. Just silently repeat that mantra to yourself. And just let it flow. No need to force or concentrate on it. If a thought comes, let that go. Gently come back to silently repeating the mantra. Om Varyunam Nama.
Varyunam Nama. My life is in harmony. You could just stop the repetition of the mantra and just gently open your eyes. And just wiggle your fingers and toes coming back to this place and time. You can do another full body stretch, just inhaling your arms up. Exhale, bring your arms back down. Again, just acknowledging yourself or just taking just even these short few minutes of silence. Thank you, Teresa. Welcome. Was the meditation comfortable? <laughs> it was very comfortable. <laughs> yes. Very so comfortable. meditation comfortable, mm-hmm. Melissa? Yes. Yeah. Very settling. So I'm curious, the, you know, there's, um, there's so much right now happening in the world that is recognizing what the sages have recognized for thousands and thousands of years is that sitting, being quiet, being still, going within has tremendous benefit. Teresa, can you share a little bit of what science is showing us, you know, are the benefits of meditation? There is quite a bit of information nowadays about the benefits of meditation. Um, I think when you practice meditation, you experience those personally. You definitely feel more centered, more rested. You feel connected to something bigger than yourself. Um, but scientifically, for those of us that need to have just a little bit more of that, how the mechanics of meditation is evolving with us uh, physically and emotionally. And it's not only that you can experience that uh, for your personal self and be that living example, um, but Deepak is really on the forefront of meditation studies. Mm-hmm. And uh, you can definitely check out on our website on Chopra.com those studies that are happening. Um, but what's been uh, been shown is that we really our immune system is being. Um, enhanced. Mm-hmm. Um, we are growing uh, telomerase and telomeres, and that really helps uh, for our DNA mm-hmm. uh, to, to, to sustain. It's also proving that people have um, definitely how it's on their physiology and their nervous system, how that's helping to repair and heal. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, again, just more sleep, well balance. And in Deepak's book, Grow Younger, Live Longer, uh, talks about. About how people can reverse aging. Mm-hmm. And you know what? Speaking of reverse aging, meditation and Ayurveda and yoga are working for me. I'm 38 years old, and I often, I was just out last weekend, and there were these younger gentlemen. I'm single, right? So there were these younger gentlemen, and they're like, hey, do you want to hang out later? And I was like, how old do you think I am? They're like, 26, 25. I'm like, I'm 38. They didn't believe me. They made me pull out my ID and show them, and they're like, what are you doing? And it ended up actually being a conversation about meditation, which you don't usually expect being out Saturday night. But it's really (laughs) just from from what science has to share with us to really and it's, you know, there's a lot of talk about reversing the aging process. But really what it comes down to is that the way that stress impacts us is very different. So many people, when we look at them and they're like, wow, they look way beyond their years because they're wearing that stress. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like they're they're taking on that experience of life, the day-to-day, not digesting it and letting it go. So like as Teresa was saying, you know, the, the Chopra Center in Deepak right now, really on the forefront of all these different studies that we're doing. Um, the latest one is SBTI, which we'll have more information on in, um, in you know, the coming weeks. But there's, it's, very, it's a very exciting time to be at the Chopra Center. 
and also with Chopra Center University because science is supporting what we've known for years. You know, what, again, the what Vedanta has been teaching us that these are the tools, these timeless traditions. So we're so excited to be here and thank you for sharing more about um, meditation and just some of the benefits. I know that not only reversing the aging process, but I sleep so much better. Do yes. you see that? Yes. <laughs> It definitely has helped because, like you said, you're releasing a lot of stress because that's yeah. actually what's keeping us up at night or it's waking us up in the middle yeah. of the night. It's those um, undigested emotions or situations that mm-hmm. arise and it forces us to wake up. And so meditation definitely helps to release yeah. uh, stress and mind and body. What about creativity? Increases creativity. Yeah. Increases that. It's the world is a more colorful place when we're meditating, that's for sure. So um, we also, the other thing I wanted to share is that um, we, in the meditation, where we were experiencing maybe the... um, just greater connection with the breath and the body. Uh, Teresa also introduced the idea of Dharma. So you, can you speak just a little bit to Dharma and, and also bringing that into Chopra Center University? Yes. Um, this is a big key point in becoming a certified teacher. A lot of people think, you know, what is my purpose? And again, if you make that list of your unique talents, whether it's cooking or surfing or biking or teaching children, um, you know, think of there's we have an abundant amount of unique talents. Uh, sometimes we recognize that and sometimes these are hidden talents. And so if you're making a list of things that you really love to do and you again, you kind of lose time, you don't even really have to study too much about it. It really just comes out of you inherently. And so we think about fulfilling a purpose as when we're sharing our unique talents with others. So when we find our purpose or uh, know what our purpose is, and we can go out and share that with others. And we come to a place of how can I help others as opposed to what's in it for me? Mm. So we shift the conversation. <laughs> is that what you're supposed to say? <laughs> yes. Okay. But, you know, it all unfolds as it should. And so when you become a teacher, because you're going through these different steps, and we'll talk about that in a moment, you really are connecting with your deeper self Mm -hmm. and your essential self. And you bring those attributes and you really bring those talents out into your daily life. You really see them manifested. They take action. And so when you do the teacher's path, you know, you definitely are getting immersed into meditation, Ayurveda, and you're making some life changes that are making more nurturing choices. But then you're also being trained and instructed of how to take these principles or these practices of meditation, yoga, Ayurveda, what you've um experience yourself personally and then you are able to take those practices and teachings into your community or virtually or share them in in any way that you see fit whether you're something that you're going to integrate into what you're already doing or Mm -hmm. just for personal knowledge just as you were saying live your passion yes you're living your passion and it's it's that simple shift of what you were saying from what's in it for me to how can i help to the idea that life happens to me, which is not empowering at all, to life happens for me. And everything that is happening in our lives, no matter how challenging it might be, it's there for us as a gift so that we can rise above and move into a different state of awareness. And I think that when I think about Chopra Center University, these teachings and these teachers that we have in the making, that's what I hear time and time again, is that the way that I experience the world is totally a space of infinite possibilities instead of limited thinking. And I think that's what we all want to do, right? Right. Yeah. So what would you say, just before we go on, what would you say your dharma is? I mean, obviously it's to be here, but I know you have some unique talents and gifts. Um, You know, one of the dharmas that I really found at the Chopra Center through a lot of these practices is teaching. I mean, I definitely had started out, you know, kind of wanting to teach um, maybe just my family and and children. Um, And it really unfolded that I started teaching 
meditation, um, Ayurveda and yoga at the Chopra Center and in my communities. And that is just has really filled me up with joy. Yeah. And it's really that give and receive. And um, if you know me really well, I also love cooking. Yes. I love food. Teresa Long <laughs> is an amazing cook. Oh, my gosh. What about you, Melissa? What would you say your Dharma is or one of your unique talents or gifts? Teaching and helping others. Mm -hmm. Wow. What a contribution to the world. Yeah, I not to be uh, a broken record, but I also teaching and I love making people laugh. Laughter's I, good. Laughter is amazing. It's so necessary. can I tell you a joke? Sure. I, I promise it's it's PG. Um, how do you make God laugh? How? Tell him your plans. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't we all agree? I think most everyone listening right now, aren't you glad your life did not turn out the way that you wanted it to? Yes. In the sense that letting go of, Teresa's like, I don't know. <laughs> but like letting go of that vision of like, here's the vision I have for my life. It's like letting go of just that one so that you can open up to all the many possibilities. Which is when I think of, when I think of just that idea of letting go of your plans, I think of Deepak Chopra and David Simon, the co-founders of the Chopra Center, and their vision that they had for these teachings. You know, they realized very early on they are just us two men that are on a mission to share these these really the wisdom and really the awakening of consciousness with the world and when um they started like as doctors and they found that they had, you know, all of their, you know, also in the medical community, people wanting, hey, Deepak and David, come here and teach us, show us what you're doing, because it was very, um, very cutting edge at that time. And so after doing so much of that, they realized there's got to be a better way. Enter Chopra Center University. So Teresa, can you talk a little bit about, you know, the vision that Deepak and David had and then where we are today with Chopra Center? University. Yes, and so this is very exciting, and this is something that the Chopra Center has really um, wanted to grow and evolve for so many years. And uh, with bringing people to the Chopra Center, having them go through these trainings, um, like you said, Libby, you know, they were being approached by so many different organizations and schools and people all around the world wanting this information, wanting these techniques to bring it into um, all different platforms or media and you know they realize that they can't be everywhere all the time so they really created these teacher trainings so we are training people who come to the Chopra Center um, how to teach primordial sound meditation um, the seven spiritual laws of yoga and the perfect health Ayurveda classes and these are really profound classes that you're being taught how to teach in, in to bring those into your community they all have um, a foundation of Vedanta uh, but they also have their all very unique focus of study so if you're looking to really go deeper into primordial sound meditation take your own personal practice deeper really understanding the origins of meditation how it works we definitely go through how to interpret some of those studies mm -hmm. um, really teaching your personal mantra so we really are training people how to teach these classes and um, not a lot of people do this for their own personal deepening, but also for professionally. A lot of times people want a career shift. And so this also helps with that, you know, thinking about, well, either I can integrate some of these things to what I'm already doing, or maybe I want to really channel my purpose or these certifications into something even bigger. Yeah. And so, you know, the teacher trainings are really set up to really teach you and to go deeper into the study of each one of those particular trainings. Um, you know, it definitely is a certification. Yes. You know, there will be testing. There will be testing. There is that testing, but that's good because that really allows you to really comprehend, articulate and practice and then bring those teachings into your area. And you know why? I mean, it's it is a big deal because when you become a Chopra Center certified 
certified teacher, and we're going to just a moment share with you, um, you know, how to get started and what that looks like. But you are essentially representing Deepak Chopra, David Simon, these teachings globally. So it's it's a different from a training where you go to the training, you get a certification. It's like good luck. No, you're joining the Chopra Center global community. You are connected to the source, this body of wisdom and knowledge, which is a community of like-minded people. So when you become a certified teacher, you're out there representing the Chopra Center in the world. Meanwhile, the Chopra Center is also representing you back home here in Carlsbad. So it's it's amazing, and I can't wait to share more. Um, also, just speaking to the trainings, and then I want to share with you a video which will share more about step-by-step step how to get started. We offer three different areas. The first one, as Teresa was mentioning, primordial sound meditation. And primordial sound meditation is that mantra-based meditation technique that we teach here at the Chopra Center. So it is a mantra-based meditation. Um, and then we also offer the seven spiritual laws of yoga, which is a yoga teacher training, which infuses the seven spiritual laws of success. So it's a very unique teacher training. And then finally, the perfect health or Ayurveda lifestyle training. And this is all encompassing, which you said, Ayurveda, largest body of knowledge. Um, what would what could people hope to experience by doing the perfect health training, Teresa? Well, the perfect health teacher training, like you said, encompasses a lot. Ayurveda. So that includes a little bit of yoga, some breathing techniques like we did before meditation, um, also detoxification, um, using conscious communication and articulating that with one another or, you know, just teaching people those practices. Um, you'll also be teaching a kind of a basic meditation, but you really are teaching people the concept of Ayurveda, determining their body type, what food is best for them, and just really understanding what we call the doshas or your body type and how that's all made up. And in the teacher training, if you're really looking to go deeper into the study of Ayurveda, that's one of the best ways. Um, Deepak has really made very this made it very accessible to learning ayurveda he's taking a lot of comprehensive information and has really narrowed it down to these lessons that people can easily follow along and at our teacher trainings we do have an advisory board and yeah. so we bring in experts in their field and so not only are you being trained at different parts of the trainings or in our prerequisites by Deepak, by our um, great staff, but by, again, like people who are pioneers and leaders in the Ayurvedic field and the yoga field and in the meditation field. And what you just said is very important in that, you know, I think with the Chopra Center, the trainings we do, we're taking this wisdom of knowledge, you know, of yoga, meditation, Ayurveda, but we're making it relevant in today's world because the environment today is very different than it was even 50 years ago. Can you imagine a thousand, five thousand years ago? So with, you know, Deepak and science and these studies we're doing, we're showing how we can take these tools and it's just amazing what's happening right now. And so um, in sharing more with you the trainings, let's watch together to learn more about Chopra Center University and what it means to be a certified teacher. I am a certified primordial sound instructor, as well as a seven spiritual laws of yoga instructor. What attracted me to the teacher's path was a need and a desire to embrace these teachings even more fully just for myself. At the time, I really didn't anticipate that I would be teaching anybody. And it's just unfolded because I'm so excited about the transformation that's taken place in my life. Welcome to the Chopra Center. I'm Teresa Long, Director of Chopra Center University. Chopra Center University is a global source for individuals to learn, share, teach, and master the timeless wisdom of Vedanta, Ayurveda, and Yoga. Chopra Center University offers teacher trainings in primordial sound meditation, the seven spiritual laws of yoga, and perfect health, the Chopra Center Ayurvedic lifestyle program. I started my journey by reading one of Deepak's books. I really connected with a lot of the meditation aspects that 
he talked about. I then took a class in primordial sound meditation with the intention of helping myself. Once the meditation actually helped me get my act together, I decided it was time to explore teaching this to average everyday people like myself. That's what drew me to actually taking the teacher's path. So I guess your next question is, how do I get started? You'll start by attending the prerequisites Seduction of Spirit and Journey into Healing. Seduction of Spirit is our week-long meditation retreat guided by Deepak Chopra. Here you'll be learning primordial sound meditation and an advanced meditation technique called the Sutra Practice. You'll also be exploring the seven spiritual laws of success and practicing yoga each day. Your next step is Journey into Healing, our Ayurvedic Immersion Workshop. Here you'll have an opportunity to hear Deepak Chopra and other guest experts as they share timeless wisdom as we explore Ayurveda and also integrative healing techniques. Here you'll have an opportunity to learn more about the mind-body-spirit connection and ways that you can balance both the mind and body. Once you've completed both Seduction of Spirit and Journey into Healing, you get to choose your certification. Now is your opportunity to really check in and see what's resonating with you. Many people find that it's not just one certification, but they'll end up experiencing all three trainings. This is what we refer to as Vedic Mastery. If you're interested in learning about Ayurveda and yoga and primordial sound meditation, the Chopra Center is an ideal method of learning these teachings. They're supportive, they're loving, they want you to succeed. In June, I'll be a Vedic master. I'm completing my perfect health certification. And it's only because of the support of all the teachers and the staff at the Chopra Center that I've really felt supported through this. Whether you are looking to become a certified teacher of this timeless wisdom or simply immerse yourself in the teachings in order to take your life to the next level, Chopra Center University provides you with a powerful platform for growth, healing, and personal development. When you are a Chopra Center certified instructor, we provide monthly webinars and newsletters with guest speakers and master teachers and timeless wisdom. Provided is an online teacher's resources page with marketing templates, an online library, videos, and access to Chopra Center affiliate programs for an opportunity to receive commissions. I think the best part about it was the personalized attention that you get. I really felt connected with everyone there. And what I think I learned the most to really just be yourself and let yourself come through the teachings. And now I'm using it to help people be healthier in their lives, but overall find their own happiness that's already inside them. Balance, heal, transform. Living your passion with Chopra Center University. I'm Vedic Master Libby Karstensen, joined by Teresa Long, Director of Chopra Center University, and Vedic Master Melissa Wise, who's a very special guest. We'll be checking in with her in just a moment. So we just had an opportunity to really learn more about Chopra Center University and how to get started. It's a very comprehensive teacher training and one that gives back time and time again. Uh, we've talked about Dharma, where we get to explore our unique talents and gifts and really what is our purpose in life. We've already experienced meditation together, that quiet and stillness from all over the world. And I just want to give a few shout outs here. You can also, if you have questions, you can put them in the comments section. I also just want to bring attention to some of you are sharing, I can't hear or I can hear and then I can't hear. So this is something that um, if you're having a challenge with hearing the audio, never fear because we will be um, recording this and then sending it to you so you can listen back to the webinar over and over and over and over again maybe just a couple of times um that we have everyone from Ohio to Canada, South America, San Diego, Wisconsin, Iowa. That's probably my mom. <laughs> I just want to tell you that. It's probably my mom um, joining us. So just a welcome. We're really happy to have you. So any questions you have, you can put into the comment section. Um, anything else you want to say about um, just the what we just viewed? 
I, I definitely want to touch upon um, just how the transformation when people step on to the teacher's path, there's that personal transformation that happens. And there's just this really need or this um joy to go and share this with others and I think you can see that going through um, you know some of our teachers who were there on the video so I just always love seeing that part it's really it's amazing and I I know that many of us that come to the Chopra Center um, came to the center really and it's interesting we use the word center Mm -hmm. because we come back and we find our center at the Chopra Center. And uh, many of us that have been drawn here, that that work here, that serve here, I know for you, Teresa, it's true. For me, it's definitely true that, you know, I came here seeking, as a seeker, I came here seeking, you know, healing and transformation. And I find that to be true for many people who embark on the teacher's path. And we have a very special guest with us today, Melissa Wise, who is one of our Vedic masters, who has a very similar story where, um, you know, you come to the center, finding your center, and then you want to expand and share that with the world. So, Melissa, first of all, thank you for joining us today. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Good. So, I... I you know, Teresa and I, we, we'd love to just learn a little bit more about your journey and your path. And I think the best place to start is what brought you to the Chopra Center? What led you here? Well, Libby, you just said it. Healing and transformation. Yeah. Yes, I, um, eight years ago, had suffered the loss of a spouse, my best friend and my soulmate. Uh, after 20 years of marriage... Uh, He passed in a fatal car accident, and it um, turned my world upside down. I found myself looking outside myself, trying to fill an empty void. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so, in that searching, because it sounds like you are a seeker as well. Yes. How did you find the Chopra Center? I received an email. An email. (laughs) And it was about um, a retreat, healing your heart. Ah. And I read it, and it resonated with me. Mm-hmm. And I planned a vacation and came. Yeah. How long ago was that? Two years ago. So you came to Healing the Heart, which is our emotional healing workshop designed yes. by David Simon, the five-step emotional healing process. So what was your, when you came to Healing the Heart, what was your desired outcome? What were you hoping to experience or find here? I was um, hoping to lighten a heavy heart. Mm. And I left feeling much lighter. And then what did you do when you got home? I um, planned on moving here. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't happen all the time, by the way. It does happen, though. People come to the Chopra Center. It's also here in Southern California. It's pretty beautiful. Um, but you decided to move here. Mm-hmm. From Texas. Wow. So what did your family think? When I told them... They were very supportive because they could see a little bit of transformation Mm -hmm. in me already. And when you, you speaking back to the transformation, when you came to Healing the Heart, um, you did Healing the Heart into our Balancing the Body, our Perfect Health program. So what was it during that week? Like, you know, we've talked a lot about meditation, yoga, Ayurveda. Was there any one thing that you took from that week which really started you on that path to transformation? Meditation. Getting in touch with my inner self. Focusing within. How has uh, practicing meditation, how has that transformed you? Like, how does that show up? Where do you see that? I'm less reactive, more at peace. If there is something that comes up, take a break and meditate. Take a break and meditate. I like that. That could be a good slogan for us, Teresa. I was just thinking that on a sticker, so. <laughs> or you could have a bumper sticker, I break for meditation. 
I, I'm just saying that's just see creativity. It's just happening through meditation. Uh, so after, so speaking of, because now you're a Vedic master, meaning you're certified in all three principles, yoga, meditation, and Ayurveda, tell us about, you know, you, you came in for healing the heart, you went back home, you decided that I'm going to take this time to immerse myself in these teachings and learn. When did you step on to the teacher's path? I signed up for Journey into Healing. Mm -hmm. As a massage therapist, I would receive CEU credits for that. And while I was attending, because I had been practicing the meditation and yoga at home, it resonated with me, and I signed up to become a teacher at Journey into Healing. Okay, which is one of the prerequisites for our teacher trainings. Yes. And you signed up for which two trainings? Primordial Sound uh, Meditation and the Seven Spiritual Laws of Yoga. Beautiful. And tell us about when you're going through the experience of the trainings, what was that like or what was that experience for you? I discovered a lot of things. I had many aha moments. And just to continue uh, the daily practice in my own life and for my friends and family to see the changes in me. What would you say is the biggest thing that your friends and family have noticed about you? How I look. <laughs> see, I keep telling you that. What do they, what what do they see in you? Because you're beautiful. I mean, you, Thank if, you. If you're watching from home, Melissa Wise, she's in the Carlsbad flower fields. All of the yellow around her. She says that's your happy place. Yeah. So, what do they what do they see in you? A brighter light. Yeah. Where I was heavy, had a heavy heart, and carrying that heavy bag, um, a lot lighter, happier, more joy, uh, more vibrant. Yeah. And you're now Vedic Master. You just completed your last training in June, the Perfect Health Teacher Training. Yes. And so now as a Vedic Master, how are you teaching? So now that you, you are a certified teacher, how are you bringing that out into the world? Well, I volunteer uh, locally at the Chopra Center, presenting new meditators with their primordial sound meditation mantras. And it is truly food for my soul. Soul food. Blissed out. And um, I teach yoga on the beach in Carlsbad. And I also incorporate it uh, on social media virtually. I think that's a great point, Melissa, because a lot of questions that come up is what do I do with this certification now and not only can people take these certifications into their community one-to-one -one, but you can also teach this virtually either through Skype or like you said I think you have a Facebook group that you connect with and and how has that been just teaching more virtually it's like planting seeds and um you can teach, I can teach people even in Texas that I could not normally reach locally on a daily basis. Great. Good. And this is definitely a great example of you can take these teachings anywhere. And at Chopra Center University, during the teacher trainings, we not only teach you and train you on how to instruct these principles, but we also go through a whole marketing segment of really how to teach virtually, how to teach it in different modalities. So it's really great to see that um, these teachings are spread out. And that's a really good point, Teresa, because how many amazing yoga teachers do you know that other people don't know of because these teachers don't know how to get really the um, their marketing out into the world that they're teaching they have this great knowledge to share so that's what's powerful about becoming a Chopra Center certified teacher as Teresa was mentioning we have this great marketing collateral and really teaching you giving you all the tools you need 
to bring this out into the world and be successful. And you were mentioning, Melissa, that you you teach people virtually, one-on-one. We also have people that go into, um, so workplace. So more people going into the corporate work environments where you're taking this knowledge and wisdom, but you're shifting it to the languaging of the audience that you're teaching to. So when you're teaching a group of yoga teachers meditation, it's going to be a little bit different than when you go into, you know, a workplace and you're teaching, you know, um, a bunch of men in suits, right? Or a bunch of women in suits. Um, it's just, it's going to be different because you want to, you want to speak the language so it's accessible. And I think that's what the Chopra Center does such a great job is making this knowledge and wisdom accessible. Would you say that to be true? Absolutely. What would you say to somebody, because I'm seeing a lot of questions coming in here that are interested in taking the teacher's path. What would you say to somebody? Because you can say it now. <laughs> <laughs> say about 2,600 people. I would say just do it. Just do it. Um, it is a commitment. And you do have to be disciplined to uh, do some work on your own at home. But you have full support of the Chopra Center and the staff and um, great speakers, as Teresa mentioned, um, that have practiced this and it's been a part of their lives, all of their lives. And you know what else is really interesting? Teresa and I were talking about this earlier is that we have just, almost, by the end of this year, 2,000 teachers worldwide that are certified. And how many people are there in the world right now? There's a lot. A lot. There's a lot of people globally. And we only have 2,000 people that are certified to really share this in their community. And that was, again, going back to Deepak Chopra and David Simon's intention is to have Chopra centers all over the world. Chopra centers meaning Chopra Center certified teachers. We have coming up the Global Meditation Experience, which is on August 8th, which we're trying to set a world record for most people meditating at any given time you know we're, we're looking to have you know 250,000 maybe a million people meditating you know from that we're going into expanding happiness which is the new 21 day meditation experience with Deepak Chopra and Oprah we're looking to go upwards of 750 to a million people and what's happening is that we're we're really growing our global community and what we're finding is everyone is going to Chopra.com they're calling into the Chopra Center, and they want to connect with somebody in their community. That's why we need you, you listening right now, to just do it, as Melissa said, and rise up to live your passion. Live your passion. Absolutely. <laughs> it your sounds passion. good to me. <laughs> live your passion. And I do want to mention, too, to find these 2,000 teachers around the world, you can visit ChopraTeachers.com, and you'll see the different teachers in your area and what they're teaching, where they're teaching. So if you're out there, you know, connect with one of those teachers to learn some of these principles or even to connect with them, collaborate them with them on a regular basis. They really are there to help set the community. And the... In connecting with a local teacher, I think it's powerful because what one of many people who are coming to the Chopra Center, yes, they're looking to deepen their meditation practice, learn yoga, learn more about Ayurveda. What is this, you know, this this science of life that I've heard so much about? But ultimately, what I think it comes back to, which is hard to articulate on a website or share with anybody, is when you are in a space with like minded people powerful things happen. You know, even you listening at home right now, collectively, there is a same awareness or consciousness that's happening. And that is something that, you know, science is now starting to look at and say, yes, something does happen when groups of people come together and share and have these conversations. And that's what we want to create. And that's what you can help with. And I think, Melissa, just speaking to you, you went home and you're like, I am coming back here. I'm moving to Southern California because it's it's being, you know, in in the awareness of others that are you just you're moving mindfully. What does it mean for you to move mindfully? 
It means for me to have that inner peace, to be connected to my inner self, to something higher than I am, bigger than I am, to find that peace. And that, that peace is what I felt when I originally came here, and I wanted to stay connected with that peace. Yeah. What does it mean for you, Teresa? Uh, To live mindfully is really to be in the present moment. And much like Melissa, just finding that peace and and staying in that peace. And even though there's ups and downs that we um, will experience, but really then to have the tools to deal with that and to move past it And so you can be in a place where you are at peace and then to be able to bring that out into others. Seduction of Spirit is a great place to do that. It sure is. That's our um, week-long meditation retreat. It's also one of the prerequisites for becoming a certified teacher. Um, It's our week-long yoga and meditation retreat. It's where we'll be experiencing the global meditation experience in Toronto. In fact, where most of the team is starting to depart and make their way to Toronto. It's very exciting. Um, So if you would like to participate online, again, um, just really experiencing the Chopra Center, the community, and what we have to offer, you can um, sign up for that at globalmeditation.chopra.com. Uh, you can also go to chopra.com to learn more about Chopra Center University. And Teresa, I have a question for you. You know, many, and again, I think what sets Chopra Center University apart from any of the other trainings out there is the support that we offer our teachers through the training process and then after they're certified. Yes, that definitely does set Chopra Center University apart from many other yoga teacher trainings or meditation trainings or Ayurvedic trainings. Um, Not only because it's been developed by the co-founders of the Chopra Center, but we have a team of very experienced teacher training faculty that help walk you through that. And we really pride ourselves and one of our focus is to create our curriculum that is accessible for the adult learner. Yeah. And um, to take that in to help them successfully graduate and take that certification out into the world. And then that's not the end. And so one of the other things that really sets us apart is that we hold, we have a whole online resource page for certified teachers and helps them to stay connected with the Chopra Center because teachers are all around the world and so they want that connection point. Um, So we have monthly webinars on specific topics on advanced content. So taking what you've already learned and building upon that. Um, We have newsletters that speaks directly to teachers. We have Also, the marketing, so we talked a little bit about that. Like, you know, now that you've got the certification, what do you do with it? You're ready to go out there. How do I kind of build my business around that? So we give you some techniques and tips and tools, and we do that on throughout the year, so it's Mm -hmm. not just one time. We have aftercare programs that, again, help you stay connected to what you just learned. Um, That's online. So we have a a lot of online resources um, for the teachers. Uh, We have just a really an abundant amount of resources for teachers. So um, those are just some of the key things that people are looking for. You have this community of other teachers. So people stay connected on the Facebook page. We have a lot of Facebook Mm -hmm. pages. Um, You can stay connected with Chopra Center University. Uh, We do ask you to continue your path. So coming to either um, back to seduction of silence where you can experience that next step of seduction of spirit um, journey to healing or perfect health so just staying really connected um, but again the support that you'll find is that you know again once you graduate it's not the end it's really I, I like to say it's the beginning it is of a whole unfoldment and you know we want we have so many teachers that are teaching um, you know maybe they teach five people a year but then we have people that are teaching 200 people a year Mm -hmm. and so really helping to connect you with teaching even specific groups what does that look like children or teenagers um 
military, just a lot of different targeted groups in, in, in the workplace. So it's really uh, something that's evolving. Um, a lot of our certified teachers help us evolve and grow that curriculum as yeah. well, too. So as teachers say, these are things that they need in order to take these teachings further. We help grow that as well. So it's a nice collaboration that we have with our teachers. It's amazing. And I think if you have the opportunity to go to Chopra.com, you can really deep dive dive into what the process looks like, you know, all the different steps in becoming certified. And then as Teresa was just sharing, you know, all of the resources that are available to you as a certified teacher. And it's coming back to, you know, these are kind of the nuts and bolts, the process, but it comes back to the essence of that feeling, which I think of that beautiful meditation you guided us through, Teresa, which is Dharma. You know, what is your purpose? If you have that unique gift and talent of sharing and you're going through your own experience of transformation, who better to share that with the world than you? And to anyone that says, who am I to be a teacher? Like, it is so hard for me to meditate. I can't, like, quiet my mind. Guess what? Those that you're teaching and guiding having the same challenge. And you are the one that's going to help them rise above and find that inner peace that Melissa has been sharing about. So we really, we, we encourage you to take action, you know, take that next step. And it could start with a phone call to one of our dedicated program consultants. So we have a team of program consultants where their dharma is to really help you on your path. You know, understanding what your desired outcome is. You know, what are you looking to learn and explore? You can call us directly at 760-494-1639. You can also visit Chopra.com for more information. We will be sending you an email with this webinar recording so you can listen again, find some of the tools and resources that Teresa was mentioning. And this is where it starts. This is the launch of our Chopra Center University first look. So Teresa and I have been working really, really, really Hard doesn't make, it's playfully. We've been working very playfully, (laughs) actually hard, um, in launching uh, the 2015 training. So do you want to speak just a little bit about the trainings that we have next year and and, um, how many there are? Yes, so we've um, scheduled our 2015 teacher training dates. Um, I do say they do get full very quickly. And because we do want to keep it more of a comprehensive training where we can have a little bit more attention um, on a personal level, you know, so there is a certain amount of um, students that we do take. We do have two perfect health teacher trainings next year, and that's the Ayurvedic lifestyle. Um, one's in February, one's in August. February is close to being full, too, I believe. February is yeah. definitely getting full. Um, so if you're thinking about that, that's something um, that you want to consider. Um, and February is a nice time in Southern California for those of you. It's <laughs> gorgeous. In cold climates. That you, you can be in the flower fields with <laughs> Melissa. Yes. <laughs> in Carlsbad. It sometimes deters people's decision whether they're coming uh, in the summertime or the wintertime where they live. Um, also, the Primordial Sound Meditation Teacher Training, which tends to be our, one of our bigger trainings. A lot of people like to start there, even though you, know, you can start at any of our teacher trainings. They are three separate trainings. Sometimes we get that question, um, do I have to take one to take the other? No, you can take them separate, but we obviously encourage you to um, really fulfill all those three. But Primordial Sound Meditation, we have one in June and also October. And then our Seven Spiritual Laws of Yoga Teacher Training, we do that once a year, but it's in two parts. We have a preparatory training, and then you go home and do practice training and go through everything that you learned in that. And then that one is in July. And then the next part to that is in November and you can definitely see all those specific dates on chopra.com. One thing we do want to mention is that and like Melissa said, that you definitely want to have a commitment to this. You are doing quite a bit at home study, more of that independent study, even though you do have resources online as somebody on the teacher's path and you always have access to staff at Chopra Center University. Um, we do ask to be registered and enrolled at least minimum three months before the start um, so if as we get full those dates may change but you know you do want to allow a little more time to be with that material 
And we've seen an increase. I, I think, you know, we're always looking for trends and what's happening, you know, out in the world. And we're definitely seeing a trend and an increase in enrollment in our teacher trainings. And that, to me, is the best news I've ever heard. Because let's set a goal for 4,000 teachers by the end of 2015. That would be amazing. <laughs> I know when we say there's 2,000 teachers and, you know, the with the how long the Chopra Center has been doing the trainings, you know, that's actually a pretty small amount. Yeah. Yeah. And definitely the goal, again, as you're saying, Libby, that global expansion, uh, we like to definitely see more teachers being certified and taking these out to their community, however they see fit. We're really excited. So CCU First Look. So you've had the first look at 2015. Uh, You can visit the website and see all of our different trainings. Call a program consultant to learn more. They'll guide you through the process. 760-494-1639. I want to thank Melissa Vedic Master. She's also a big fan of the Carlsbad Flower Fields. <laughs> you're pretty. <laughs> might I just say you're pretty as a flower? Keep doing thank what you. you're doing. <laughs> um, but do you have just in in one word before you started um, your path here at the Chopra Center? If you can describe the way you felt in one word, what would it be? Before I started, before heavy. And now, as a Vedic master? Light as a feather. That's more than one word. (laughs) But you know what? The essence is there. It's one (laughs) essence. That's beautiful. Um, Teresa, any closing words? No, just um, thank you for the opportunity to really share what we do at Chopra Center University. And thank you to Melissa for sharing her experience and her story. And I think that's also very inspiring for others. Be the change that you wish to see in the world. You know, and I think, you know, if just in coming to a close here is there's many of us that know the path. We know what we should be doing. We we know that we should be taking time. We know that we should not be in reactive mode in response. We know we should be sleeping. We know we should be moving the body. But there's the, what I'm asking you to do is today is to you you know what you need to do. But now it's stepping into actually doing it. So it's like it's it's really living that passion. It's living the teachings. I have a favorite slogan. Live it, love it, share it, changing others one soul at a time. I love that. Thank you, Melissa. It's beautiful. Thank you all for joining us for Live Your Passion with Chopra Center University, the latest in our series of Chopra Center webinars. Now is the time to turn your inspiration into your reality. Teresa, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Libby. Melissa. Thank you. Until we meet again. Um, And I'm Libby Karstensen, Vedic Master, looking forward to sharing with you again Chopra Center, all the teachings all around the world. Again, be the change that you wish to see in the world. Namaste. Namaste.